And we have Marty Calder here, who is a behavioral therapist. Mm -hmm. Tell us about how we can have all kids be successful in a classroom setting. So the big thing is that uh, to, for a lot of parents to remember, if their child is having some uh, problems or they uh, have a disability, that there's a lot of resources out there mandated by law and uh, have been in place since about the mid-70s. Okay. So one is called an IEP. Um, it's an individual education plan, so that makes for accommodations for um, learning and um, development and so that um, kids can have adaptive curriculum. So okay. um, if they're not quite up to, if they're a third grader but not quite up to that curriculum, um, they can have adaptions and, and have curriculum that they um, can meet and still be successful. Yes. Um, the other one's called a 504, which is a little less than the IP. Uh, IP is a little bit more mandated as far as exactly what has to happen. 504 is more like, let's see what we can do within this school um, to accommodate. Um, that could be some behavioral problems, that could be some other issues um, within the classroom that um, help the kid to be successful. Okay, so this does allow children with these problems to be successful in school. Yeah, and one of the things with it that happens with um, kids with disabilities, I think they add things to the school, right? Mm -hmm. um, by um, exposing what would you'd say typical kids to yeah. um, kids with disabilities. Um, they see a wide range of, of things that are out there in the world and how they can be more empathetic and understanding of the challenges that um, children and people with disabilities face. Yeah, I feel like that's good for all students. Yep. And then what else should people know if parents have questions or anything like that? So one of the things is I think sometimes uh, parents that are um, of typical kids mm -hmm. um, and all kids have some issues, so yes. I was like, typically what will happen, um, is that um, it can be a great uh, addition to the classroom, but that means there, there could be a little bit more I wouldn't even call it chaos, it's a little bit more um, things going on in the classroom. Okay. There may be adults there, mm -hmm. like me, yeah. um, to help students. There could be other things that we're doing, or a child could um, have you know, noises or make uh, scream or do things like that. Yeah. Um, but there's, there's protections in place for the kids, and mm -hmm. um, that they can be a great opportunity, like I said, for the other kids to learn what, um, what disabilities are about. Definitely, and if people have questions about their own children, how can they get in contact yeah. with you? you can get a hold of my cell phone through um, Access Point Family Services at 208-604-0008. Perfect. Thank you so much, Marty.